After trying out CentOS on my Apple Silicon Mac using UTM, I come to know it's very difficult to make it work. Then I decided to try the CentOS alternative and end up trying Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is known to be a rebuild of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It is a free, open source, RHEL compatible operating system and got a replacement for CentOS, which was discontinued by Red Hat in 2021. Rocky Linux has a strong community and a promising feature. It works well as a server because it uses RHEL stable source code to power production workloads. Hey what's up guys, KS Kiral here, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Rocky Linux on any Mac with Apple Silicon using UTM. It's a powerful QEMU-based hypervisor and emulator. This allows to run Rocky Linux with OpenGL hardware acceleration inside a virtual machine on any Mac with Apple Silicon at near native speeds. So without further ado, let's get into installing Rocky Linux on M1 Mac. All right, first things first, this guide will work on any Mac with Apple Silicon. For demonstrating this video, I'm using MacBook Air with an M1 chip. As you can see, it's running the latest version of macOS Monterey. To install Rocky Linux on M1 or any Mac with Apple Silicon, you need to reserve a free space of at least 40 GB or higher. Then head over to these links using a web browser. The first link in the description takes you to this page. Go ahead and download the UTM application. Once it's done, then head over to the second link and download the latest version of Rocky Linux for ARM computer. If you want to use a Rocky Linux server, choose Minimal Edition. For now, I choose DVD, which is a complete package and comes with GNOME Desktop. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to move the Rocky Linux image to the desktop for easier navigation. Then double tap on the UTM DMG file and drag the icon to the applications folder. Now open the UTM application. This is the user interface of the UTM application. Let's go ahead and start creating a new virtual machine for Rocky Linux. To do so, click on this button. Under the start menu, you will see two options, virtualize and emulate. If you're installing ARM64 OS on Apple Silicon, use virtualize to simulate the bare metal performance. If you're installing any Intel or AMD based OS on Apple Silicon, use emulation. So better use the OS that matches your computer architecture. For now, choose Virtualize, then select Linux and import the Rocky Linux image file. Then for the hardware, allocate 4 gigs of RAM and set CPU cores to 4. You can also enable the experimental feature, the OpenGL hardware acceleration for a smoother experience. Then click on continue. Now allocate the storage space for the Rocky Linux. Make sure it's not less than 30 GB. Now under the shared directory, just don't do anything. Then name the virtual machine and click on save. That's it, now we are done creating a virtual machine for Rocky Linux. On the right, you can see the settings and information of this virtual machine. Now I click on settings from the top right. Using the virtual machine settings, you can configure the hardware for Rocky Linux. For now, I'm going to leave everything as default. It's time to start the virtual machine. To do so, tap on the play button. Now select Install Rocky Linux. Keep in mind that when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor control will be bounded to the guest OS. To release press Ctrl plus option to get the control of the cursor back to the host OS.
As you can see, the installer has shown up. Choose your preferred system language. I stick to English, United States, and continue. Then click on Installation, Destination, then select the free space and click on Done. If in case you see the storage configuration has failed, repeat the same one more time. Then under the User Settings, choose Root Password. Now assign the password to the root user. You can also enable the SSH connection for a root user. Then create a user account and I decided to make this user an administrator. That's it, now click on the install button to start installing Rocky Linux. It will take around 5-10 to 10 minutes so sit back and relax and grab some drinks. Once the installation is complete, shut down the virtual machine. Then open the main interface of UTM. Select the virtual machine and click on CD or DVD and choose Clear. This will unmount the ISO and prevents the virtual machine from booting into the installation setup. Now click on the play button, this time virtual machine will load Rocky Linux. Voila, now you can see the GNOME desktop lock screen. Just tap on the username, then from the bottom right choose the settings gear icon, then select standard x11 server. Now enter the password to login. As you can see, we are inside the Rocky Linux. Just look at the speed of it, it's freaking fast. It feels like I'm running Rocky Linux on bare metal. Thanks to the hardware acceleration, the GNOME desktop runs battery smooth. It's worth mentioning that you may notice a desktop is pixelated. Unfortunately, I could not find a way to fix a retina mode and some UTM tools cannot be installed on Rocky Linux. But still, the UI seems to be very responsive. Now before I wrap this video, if you try to install the popular packages like NeoFetch and HTOP, you end up seeing this message. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. First type this command inside a terminal to update the Rocky Linux. Then type this command that adds additional repositories to the system. Now you can install packages like htop and neofetch very easily. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Rocky Linux on any Mac with Apple Silicon using UTM. If you are missing CentOS, Rocky Linux is here to rescue. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to see a versatile tech content. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you at the next one.